So I just watched uh, Anderson Silva's son, Gabriel Silva, just box OJ Rose on the uh, Misfits card. And really, really good performance from Gabriel Silva. He is actually really fucking good. Obviously, I get it is the influencer scenes. So you got to take everything with a pinch of salt. But I just mean for like, you know, the standards of uh, Misfits boxing and influencer boxing and everything. He is very good. He's a very good fighter. Uh, he showed, he actually fought very technical. Uh, you know, he used a lot of head movement here. OJ Rose sort of just was in the pocket fucking right at him the whole fight. Like, he was in, uh, you know, he was like constantly on uh, Gabriel Silva. But Silva very, <clears throat> very good when people are pressuring him. You know, you can tell he's Anderson's son. Like, the way he was fighting, very reminiscent. Not saying he's as good as Anderson at this point, but he looked very good. <clears throat> Shit, sorry. <clears throat> I just, I've literally just woken up. This is the first, this is the first words of, I'm uttering all day. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, yeah, very good performance here from Gabriel Silva. He really just like, just technically beat him down. I thought he won every round, except for the second round. I thought Roger Rose had a bit of an onslaught towards the end where he was landing big shot after big shot. Obviously, uh, Gabriel Silva fights with that hand down style, you know, a lot of head movement, bit of taunting, not as much as Anderson, but still taunts a little bit. Uh, but yeah, he's actually really fucking good, man. Like he is good. Uh, head movement on point, sort of just piecing up OJ Rose here, you know, not really that competitive, but like I say, you can arguably give OJ Rosa the second round. Uh, Gabriel Silva was just sort of beating him up before, but he did land that big onslaught. So you, I could sort of see how you could give it to him, but also at the same time, that could still be a Gabriel Silva round. You know, he, he's looking good, man. He's looking fucking good. He's 2-0 now. Uh, after his win, he called out Anthony Taylor, that fucking cringe little man. And he came out, had a fucking entrance theme and everything. Like I say, Misfits is literally like real life WWE. Uh, yeah, he had a fucking entrance. He's walking out, dancing. He was like taking forever. The the, uh, the actual announcer interviewer guy was like, uh, Anthony Taylor, you got to come down here, talk your shit. Like, hurry the fuck up. We don't have all day. So yeah, he ends up coming out. Uh, he faces off with Gabriel Silva. They talk a bit of smack. Uh, Anthony Taylor says, like, you know, I'm going to beat him. I'm going to knock you out. Uh, you know, we're going to Brazil. We're going to Brazil. We're going to Brazil. And then afterwards, and he's like, I'm coming. I'm going to knock you out. And then I'm going to I'm gonna go knock your daddy out, saying he's going to fight Anderson Silva. And then... Uh, he was talking about how he would really be like your dad because he got knocked out so many times and all this shit. Like, just talking shit about Anderson Silva. Very fucking random. Like, Anthony Taylor is fucking not very good. He All he does is clinch his way to victories. Uh, I think I think Gabriel Silva would beat him, to be honest. He, he's just a much fucking better boxer. Like, <laughs> Anthony Taylor can't box. He can just sort of clinch. Uh, obviously, in MMA, he was a fucking pure wrestler, like, he got outstruck by fucking James Gallagher. He's not very good. He's just, you know, he's, he's found a way to make bank, though. Like, he, he's boxing all these influences. It's smart. You know, financially, it's fucking paying off for him because he's making bank. But he's not, he's really not fucking good at boxing. He's, he's pretty trash. Like, I don't know. they got to fucking change the rule set or something in Misfits where you can't clinch your way to victory because it's so boring to watch. I hope Gabriel Silva knocks him the fuck out. Gabriel Silva's actually a really fun fighter. But it wouldn't fucking surprise me if Anthony Taylor comes in here and clinches his way to victory. You know, it just seems to be how he keeps getting all these fucking fights done, like, over and over again. He just seems to clinch his way to victory. He's not a good boxer at all, but, you know, respect. He does fucking somehow get it done every single time with just clinching, so, you know. Hey, you know, maybe I'll go to miss with boxing. I can, I'll clinch my way to victory against everyone since it seems to fucking work for this guy. 
you know, he was a shit MMA fighter. Like, uh, at one point he had like a negative record. Uh, I mean, I guess he did beat UFC fighter Dean Barry, who was one of the worst fighters in UFC history. But like, the guy's made bank. He's not even fucking good. Like, he wasn't a good MMA fighter. So I, 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 I gotta respect the hustle, but. You know, he's a shit fighter to watch. Like, his fight style is so fucking boring. Like, I really just hope he gets sparked out by Gabe Silver. That's all I, that's all I gotta fucking say, man. I'm sick of watching fucking Anthony Taylor fight. But anyway, yeah, just, just wanted to talk about this real quick, because, you know, Gabriel Silver is actually really fun to watch. Really is like seeing, like, a Anderson Silver light. I'm not gonna say he's as good as Anderson yet, obviously. He's young. He's new into his combat sports career. But he's very good. Like he's, he's like genuinely very good. So it'll be interesting to see how this fight goes with Anthony Taylor in Brazil. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's just not another boring fucking clinch fest. But anyway, that's all I've got to say. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Cheers. Adios. Uh, ciao. Bye bye.